crayfish, crayfish, also known as crawfish, crawdads, freshwater lobsters, mountain lobsters, mudbugs or yabbies, are freshwater crustaceans resembling small lobsters, to which they are related. Taxonomically, they are members of the superfamilies Astacoidea and Parastacoidea. They breathe through feather-like gills. Some species are found in brooks and streams where there is running fresh water, while others thrive in swamps, ditches, and paddy fields. Most crayfish cannot tolerate polluted water, although some species such as Procambrus clarkia hardia, crayfish feed on animals and plants, either living or decomposing, and detritus. Names the name, crayfish, comes from the old French word escrevisse, modern French écrevisse. The word has been modified to crayfish by association with fish folk etymology. The largely American variant, crawfish, is similarly derived. Some kinds of crayfish are known locally as lobsters, crawdads, mudbugs, and yabbies. In the eastern United States, Crayfish is more common in the north, while crawdad is heard more in central and southwestern regions, and crawfish further south, although there are considerable overlaps. Other animals in Australia, on the eastern seaboard, New Zealand and South Africa, the term crayfish or cray generally refers to a saltwater spiny lobster of the genus Jassus that is indigenous to much of southern Oceania, while the freshwater species are usually called Yabi Acora. From the indigenous Australian and Maori names for the animal respectively, or by other names specific to each species. Exceptions include Western Rock Lobster, of the Palinuridae family, found on the west coast of Australia, the Tasmanian Giant Freshwater Crayfish, from the Parastacidae family, found only in Tasmania, and the Murray Crayfish, found on Australia's Murray River. In Singapore, the term crayfish typically refers to Thenus orientalis, a seawater crustacean from the Slipper Lobster family. True crayfish are not native to Singapore, but are commonly found as pets, or as an invasive species, Shirax quadrigeronatus, in the many water catchment areas, and are alternatively known as freshwater lobsters. Anatomy The body of a decapod crustacean, such as a crab, lobster, or prawn, shrimp, is made up of 20 body segments grouped into two main body parts, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. Each segment may possess one pair of appendages, although in various groups these may be reduced to missing. On average, crayfish grow to 17.5 cm in, in length, but some grow larger. Walking legs have a small claw at the end. Geographical distribution and classification There are three families of crayfish, two in the northern hemisphere and one in the southern hemisphere. The southern hemisphere, Gondwana distributed, family Parastacidae lives in South America, Madagascar and Australasia, and is distinguished by the lack of the first pair of pleopods. Of the other two families, members of the Astacidae live in western Eurasia and western North America and members of the family Cambridae live in eastern Asia and eastern North America. North America The greatest diversity of crayfish species is found in southeastern North America, with over 330 species in nine genera, all in the family Cambridae. A further genus of astacid crayfish is found in the Pacific Northwest and the headwaters of some rivers east of the Continental Divide. Many crayfish are also found in lowland areas where the water is abundant in calcium, and oxygen rises from underground springs. Crayfish were introduced purposely into a few Arizona reservoirs and other bodies of water decades ago, primarily as a food source for sport fish. They have since dispersed beyond those original sites. Australia Australia has over 100 species in a dozen genera. In Australia, many of the better-known crayfish are of the genus Shirax. 
and include the marron from Western Australia, now believed to be two species, Shirax tenuimanus and C. caney, red claw crayfish, Shirax quadricera natus. Common Yabby, Shirax destructor, and Western Yabby, Shirax priusi. The marin are some of the largest crayfish in the world. They grow up to several pounds in size. C. Tenuimanus is critically endangered, while other large Australasian crayfish are threatened or endangered. Australia is home to the world's two largest freshwater crayfish, the Tasmanian giant freshwater crayfish Astacopsis gouldi which can achieve a mass of over 5 kilograms, 11 pounds, and is found in rivers of northern Tasmania, and the Murray crayfish Eustica sarmatis, which can reach 2 kilograms, 4.4 pounds, and is found in much of the southern Murray-Darling Basin. New Zealand and New Zealand, two species of Paranophrops are endemic, and are known by the Maori name Cora. Fossil record Fossil records of crayfish older than 30 million years are rare, but fossilized burrows have been found from strata as old as the late Paleozoic or early Mesozoic. The oldest records of the Parastacidae are in Australia, and are 115 million years old. Some crayfish suffer from a disease called crayfish plague caused by the North American water mold Aphanomyces astarchi which was transmitted to Europe when North American species of crayfish were introduced there. Species of the genus Astacus are particularly susceptible to infection, allowing the plague evolved signal crayfish to invade parts of Europe. Food crayfish are eaten worldwide. Like other edible crustaceans, only a small portion of the body of a crayfish is eaten. In most prepared dishes, such as soups, bisques and etouffees, only the tail portion is served. At crawfish boils or other meals where the entire body of the crayfish is presented, other portions, such as the claw meat, may be eaten. Like all crustaceans, Crayfish are not kosher because they are aquatic animals that do not have both fins and scales. They are therefore not eaten by observant Jews. As of 2005, Louisiana supplies 95% of the crayfish harvested in the U.S. In 1987, Louisiana produced 90% of the crayfish harvested in the world, 70% of which were consumed locally. In 2007, the Louisiana crawfish harvest was about 54,800 tons, almost all of it from aquaculture. About 70% to 80% of crayfish produced in Louisiana are Procambrus clarkii, red swamp crawfish, with the remaining 20% to 30% being Procambrus zone angulus, white river crawfish. Bait crayfish are commonly sold and used as bait, either live or with only the tail meat, and are good at attracting channel catfish, walleye, trout, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, pike and muscalunge. Sometimes the claws are removed so that the crayfish do not stop fish from biting the hook. Crayfish easily fall off the hook, so casting should be slow. The result of using crayfish as bait has led to various ecological problems at times. According to a report prepared by Illinois State University on the Fox River and Des Plaines River watershed, the rusty crayfish, used as bait, has been dumped into the water and its survivors outcompeter the native clearwater crayfish. This situation has been repeated elsewhere. As the crayfish bait eliminates native species, the use of crayfish as bait has been cited as one of the ways zebra mussels have spread to different waterways. As members of this invasive species are known to attach themselves to crayfish, pets crayfish are kept as pets in freshwater aquariums. Crayfish kept as pets in the U.S. from local waters are usually kept with bluegill at base, rather than goldfish or tropical or subtropical fish. 
They prefer foods like shrimp pellets or various vegetables, but will also eat tropical fish food, regular fish food, algae wafers, and small fish that can be captured with their claws. They will sometimes consume their old exoskeleton after it has molted. The disposition towards eating almost anything will also cause them to explore the edibility of aquarium plants in a fish tank. However, most species of wolf crayfish, such as Camborellus patsquarensis, will not destructively dig or eat live aquarium plants. They are also relatively non-aggressive and can be kept safely with dwarf shrimp. Because of their very small size of 1.5 inches, 38 millimeters, or less, some fish are often a threat to the crayfish. Since crayfish are accustomed to being in ponds or rivers, they will have a tendency to shift gravel around on the bottom of the tank, creating mounds or trenches to emulate a burrow. Crayfish will often try to climb out of the tank, especially if an opening exists at the top that they can fit through. In some nations, such as the United Kingdom, United States, Australia, and New Zealand, Imported alien crayfish are a danger to local rivers. The three species commonly imported to Europe from the Americas are Orconictes limosis, Pacifasticus lineusculus and Procambrus clarki. Crayfish may spread in two different bodies of water because specimens captured for pets in one river are often released into a different catchment. There is a potential for ecological damage when crayfish are introduced into non-native bodies of water, e.g., crayfish plague in Europe.